I didn't know that I was going to be an artist specifically when I was younger. I just knew that I wanted to have fun and I wanted to use the creative process somehow to get ideas out into the world and share. And I was doing a lot of different types of things just to get attention when I was young. I think the number one thing that I always return to is that when I meet people, I think would be like my best friends if I had the time to spend with everybody. Then I'm like, oh my God, this is why I do what I do. It's not the discipline itself. It's not the subject or the style that I have. It's just, a, it's just having a voice in a society or a community where you realize that somehow what you do resonates and it's a language. It's the, the, the thing that ultimately makes me happy is the fact that I make friends every day and that I feel a sense of belonging because I have a role in people's lives. It's, sometimes it's very magical when you collaborate with someone and, and you see equal amounts of voice like you're singing a duet. But what I like about Psycho Bunny is that they are really giving it a great go with the brick and mortar concept. They're not just trying to be online. It feels very old school in a way that I'm familiar with that. It's like, oh yeah, if you really want something hip, you have to go into the place to get it. 